Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes day. Let's get our dailies out of the way. Alright. So how's your weekend going? So if you've been noticing, I've been uploading quite a few Anthem videos. That's because Anthem's early access through Origin's um, premiere account went live yesterday. And so I've been recording gameplay so I can work on game videos out there. So don't worry for those who've been subscribing to my channel um, for the Star Wars ones. I'm not going away. Don't worry. Um, I'll be sort of focusing on two games on this channel now instead of one which is Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes as well as Anthem and then you know again this games come and go so um, you know there'll be another game that will come out so and I'll be going through that so this channel is going to be constantly morphing but I see that Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes won't change unless the game all of a sudden decides to die on us and no longer exist then we'll have to do other things but as of right now we just unlocked another character really cool uh, we are not going to go anywhere <laughs> so don't worry about that we'll still upload the daily videos and still keep up with the tutorials and all that fun stuff so Chopper is well on his way there once we get our uh, we actually will be able to get Kanan's segment out of the way too. Cool. And last time I checked, we are at 49 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, a thank you for those who've been subscribing. Um, whether you stumble on my channel for Anthem or you just stumbled on for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, I welcome you. Thank you so much. We're just one subscriber away from reaching the 50 subscriber mark. And I've, in my opinion, that's a great accomplishment. That's a great milestone to go for. So, yes. I don't really know what we're going to do to celebrate the 50, <laughs> to be honest with you. But um, some people would think that going having 50 subscribers is nothing. But if you think about it, 50 subscribers compared to the majority of people who've up, been uploading videos who only have like one or two subs, I would say that's a pretty good milestone. <laughs> so I am not complaining. I'm appreciating every single one of you who subscribed. It means a lot. It means that you enjoy the content that I'm creating and that you're willing to get notified for upcoming content. That's basically what subscribing is, is that you like the, the person enough to where you will get notified of some new content that will be coming up. And that means a lot to me. So thank you. So how about this? How about for our question, I'll post this in the pin and you can reply to it. But what would you like to see for our 50 subscriber um, celebration? <laughs> All right, not resistance yet. We can't do events there. Ah, but there you go. See, Grandmaster Yoda, and we need Jedi. Let's take a look real quick. I don't think we'll. We had to have a full Jedi team, if I'm not mistaken. If one, two, three, four. Oh. That's unexpected. Huh. Huh. That is cool. We actually might be able to get three shards of Grandmaster Yoda. Huh. That is cool. Alrighty. Huh, okay. 
I was totally not expecting that. Well, I guess that means we'll have to work on these people getting them geared up a little bit. <laughs> and since his leadership here, all Jedi allies gain 10% offense, he'll be a great leader for our Jedi run. That is cool. Totally wasn't expecting that. Hmm. And that's in how many days? Four. Okay, that should give us plenty of time to get them geared up. That's awesome. Very cool. So, how about let's do this then? Uh, once we once we get this daily out of the way, let's let's work on getting our Jedi up and preparation for it. Ah, uh, well, let's go into fact that we're reading that. No, but that should be fine because we can find another person to replace our arena team. So let's do this real quick. Uh, where's our arena? So we'll need to get consular out of that team lined up. There we go. That should be fine. Yeah. Cool. So next time we'll we'll run him as our team, so then we can work on our Jedi. There's our Empire team, which we actually need to edit because we got a MVP. Tada! I am I'm so happy. All right. Uh, there we go. So now, all right, that's all the way. Let's get our Rancor run. We're currently at seventeen. So. Yeah, so I'll show you how I go about my main account. If there's a group I want to focus on, um, how, how the process goes there. Let's get that panel out of the way. Got another percentage down. That is cool. Eating. That's okay. Can we get another percentage down? Probably not. Not the right that he's um, owning us right now. Yep, he just took out. Well, maybe. We'll see. And nope. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> Not with that eating. But that's actually decent damage, especially for a four, four star run. So, okay, we shot up to 12 instead of 14. Okay, not too bad. What's our arena at? Okay, we got a few seconds there. Um, let's do another galactic run. 
real quick. Let's take out Talia, of course, for the heals. So what I'm thinking is we only have we have four days until the event starts, and then they typically give you a week to go through. So I don't think we'll be able to get Kanan up to five stars. But we might. And we actually might be able to unlock Grandmaster Yoda for our first legendary character, which I think will be really cool. Because that will be a great milestone for this account as well. Is um, um, even though we've been focusing on Phoenix Squad, we we were able to work on having at least a, another Jedi team to go. So uh, let's let's refresh. Still, still same old. I think that will be a really cool milestone, actually, in my opinion, is to be able to unlock a legendary character on our first try, instead of having to wait. Because all you have to do is just get to five stars. Um, beat the five star um, run, and you'll be able to unlock the character. You won't be able to get to max stars, which is seven stars, but you'll be at least to unlock the leg um, character legend. Um, there is another two hero, um, no, actually three now. Wait, wait. yeah, three, um, let's see, hero journey events. And those are slightly different from legendary, where um, it's Jedi Knight Revan, uh, Commander Luke Skywalker, and Jedi Training Rey. Those are the three characters. And you need to complete all seven challenges to actually unlock them. So the, those on um, the um, hero's journey is slightly different. But with these type here, we should be able to, um, yeah, let's take a look here. So Jedi, huh? Okay. So let's do this. So the way I do it is I favorite and favorite, favorite you. So now, if we go out, see here, let's on favorite Sabine for right now. So now we have quite a few people that are favorited. So when we are running gear, trying to get gear up, um, we will get the favorite notification, and then we can check to see if there's actually gear for our characters, which will be cool. So he's 54. Uh, let's get him up. And this is where credit starts being helpful in accruing. My guess is that he will probably go out first because he's such a uh, he's a decent starter character, but he's not really good at in the game. But he'll be able to get us Grandmaster Yoda, I believe. And then we'll work on getting mods for him as well. Yeah, so let's see if we can... What's his current gear at? Okay, four. Let's see if we can shoot him to five at least. Oh, perfect. We got abilities. Perfect. That's good because we need to get um, Mace Windu up. And there was the gear that we needed. Sweet. All right, let's get him to gear five if we can. We'll have to do some refreshes, but that's the whole point of having um, saving up crystals, which is good. Shouldn't be too big of an issue for us. And that's why we've been stockpiling um, sims as well. So we can do this exact same exact thing that we need to do. So we'll try to get everyone to gear four five at least and then we can slowly work on getting them geared up uh, as we go along in the next four days
And um, for those who are wondering, this is I'm zooming in a little too quickly. See how it says zero of one? All you have to do is just click on the um, gear and then click on find. It'll bring up any nodes that you have unlocked to get them. So that's how I'm able to get all these gear pieces so quickly because of that. And that's gear that we could be using a little bit later on the road, which is good. And if you notice, once I see, um, you know, four out of five, I go back to the one. Reason being is I don't want to sort of waste sims in a sense, if I can help it, because that'll be, you know, sims I could be using for. There you go, gear five, perfect. All right, Whoa, we'll give you health. We'll give you this. You have nothing, you have nothing, and we'll give you this. I'm not caring about what this secondary stats is. I'm just trying to get a mod so we can get health. So our consular is up to par. He's at gear five, which was our goal. Now let's go see how far we can get Mace Windu up. And to unlock these abilities, you have to just gear them up. So as we gear, you'll be able to... There we go, see? We unlocked his leadership ability, just gearing him up. Like so. There we go, all right. See how far we can get with him to gear five. We might be able to, might have to wait for tomorrow which is fine because then you know we'll have a resets all right we're gear three all right and we're still at the 50 mark for our crystals so that's fine And we're getting training droids, which is good because that'll be for future characters when we unlock them. Perfect, two out of two. So we'll probably dedicate a whole day when that um, day four drops. So we'll probably dedicate a whole day or, you know, try to get as much dailies done. But we'll try, um, depending on how how badly geared we are, we might have to take the whole 30 minutes just to make sure we, you know, top off and make sure everyone is maxed out as far as we can to see how far we can get on one of those days. But then again, we have a whole week, five days or so, when the event goes starts. So we technically have like nine days to prep our team if we need to. Okay, so that we're at the 100 mark. I'm going to stop just because. Um, let's get these up. Yes, we could use 100... Um, Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's use this one. As I was saying, we could use more of our crystals, but I don't want to. Because why waste extra crystals when, you know, we can just wait for tomorrow. So I'm in no rush there. One minute there. So let's do our Galactic War fight. All right, get our healer out of the way. So no massive heals. Focus on her, please. Thank you. Good. Now take out the consular. Good. Let's take out Luke. Let's see what time are we at. Okay, cool. We got 10 minutes. 
But we got most of our dailies out of the way. All we have to do is just wait for the arena to cool down and we should be able to finish up everything. But that's how you speed level <laughs> a character's gear and all that. Because, you know, if you've been stockpiling and all that, it should be nice and easy for you. But then it, again, if you unlock nodes, that, that's very helpful for you too. And then if you three star it, you know, you can just use your sims, refresh, that gives you more sims. So, yeah. This game isn't too bad if you, um, if you just take time and not sort of rush things. Rushing as in use utilizing um, using all your sim cards um, sim tickets in the earlier games instead of just watching the animations so you can stockpile so when you get to this area here you know we have plenty of sims if need be but also having extra crystals too is nice we should be able to do one more run before arena reset Alright, guard, you're going down. Perfect. Use up our bronzium packs that we got from speed grinding <laughs> or power leveling our characters. There we go. So, where are we at right now? We have Mace Windu at 54. He is gear 5. No, no, he's gear 4 right now. Because we didn't get him quite there yet. This guy is gear 5. Which is cool. Oh, we need to get Ahsoka. Alright. We can level up. We're at 55. We might be able to get... Let's see. Did we get any achievements? Nope. We did not. Alright. Um, we unlocked this one. What's our time at? Okay, I think we should be able to squeeze in this hard mode. Let's see here. Roll. Three hit. Expose. Roll. Two tap. Uh, that's done. Ouch. Okay. Uh... Ooh, Poe is almost down. Okay, there's Expose. That's what we want to see. 
Good. Ah, here we go. Good. Nice. Let's get this guy out of the way so he doesn't taunt us. Uh, let's get him out of the way. Uh, let's get him. Oh, there we go. Good. Can we three? Nice. Good. Destiny again, good. He's down. He's down. <laughs> He's soon to be down. There we go. Nice. We didn't lose a single character. Yeah, so if you can get those exposes exposes really quick you know you, you can do pretty decently with your resistance faction game bonus energy sweet all right well let's see how far we can get we have about three minutes left till this video ends so Let's see how far we can get Ahsoka. Up. Let's get over some mods real quick. Again, I'm not looking at what the mods and secondary stats are. I'm just dumping mods on her right now. Because we just need her to be high enough so we can actually tackle the grand, uh, Grandmaster run. Get these up to three. Right. So we have plenty of energy and we just reset and leveled up so we got sim cards. So once we run out of energy, that will be that. There we go. And again, if you have any questions on if I was going too fast and you saw something and asked why I didn't do it, please comment down below. And I'll answer them for you. Because I want you to understand what I'm doing. And if something's not clear, definitely want to expound upon that and help you out. I'm not going to do that because that requires five, that requires five, that requires five. Okay, I'll just use up everything else. Okay, so it's okay, we'll be a little bit longer to grind for. And the way we got her was because I think it was through a Bronzium pack a while back and then just 
through Galactic War Table, we got more shards for her. So, yeah. There we go. And perfect timing. Alright, so we got Mace Windu to gear 4. We got Consular to gear 5. And we got her to gear 4 as well. Nice. I'm actually quite happy that we got that far just from starting from point zero all the way to now. So actually, we've been stockpiling pretty good. So, not sure if we'll be able to. Where's Ahsoka at? Where's she at? Ah, she's in there. Hmm. But we'll see. We'll see how we go. We might focus on getting her up to gear 5. But we need to get Chopper up as well. You know, we'll we'll see what we do. Um, and also, if you want your thoughts, go ahead and put that down below in the comments. Alright, we'll, we'll stop the video there. Thanks everyone for dropping by as always. And thanks again for the new subs. We're about to hit the 50 subscriber milestone. I think that's a milestone. So, yay. Um... Just need one more to get to that 50, which would be fun. I don't know what I want to celebrate for that, so post in the comments below what your thoughts would be. And as always, check the description for helpful uh, tips and tricks, for links, for mods, and just learning how Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes works. And as always, stay safe out. Um, well, can't even speak. Stay safe out there. <laughs> All right, bye.